Jeremy is gonna quit two days before the performance. <laughs> Not on my watch. You wanna drop out of school three months before graduation to join the circus? Not on my watch. Hey, welcome to Let's Talk Context, American English idioms, phrasal verbs, and expressions. I'm Ethlyn. For today's lesson, we're going to talk about the expression, not on my watch. In our first example, Jeremy has the intention of quitting a few days before the performance. Like, who does that? Um, and I respond, not on my watch. Like, that's not gonna happen. No, sir. In the second example, I'm asking someone if they intend on not graduating, dropping out of college so that they can join the circus. And I say, not on my watch. Again, meaning, no, that's not happening. No, sir. So this expression, not on my watch, what does it mean? Well, there's no exact meaning for it. I think it's, again, one of those expressions that it's more important to understand the context when it's used as opposed to trying to figure out the, like pinpoint the exact meaning. So not on my watch can mean no, never gonna happen, nuh uh, like no, right? Um, but it's used in situations where the speaker is trying to communicate that something will not take place. So you think you're walking out of that house? in that outfit, not on my watch, not while I'm here, not while I'm in charge. This is an expression that can be used in the business context, in everyday life. You just wanna be mindful and use it in a context where you're trying to communicate that something will not take place. So structurally, the expression is not on my watch. You can also replace that pronoun and say, not on her watch, not on his watch, not on their watch. So my older sister, she thinks that she's gonna sneak out of the house and go to that party later tonight. And my parents are not having it, not on their watch. But more commonly, you would use it yourself. And so the expression would be not on my watch. And it's pretty fixed. You don't really change anything except if you wanna replace the pronoun. So that's really it. If you enjoyed this video and you learned, feel free to share it, like it, throw some messages in the comments section. And if you have any recommendations for other idioms, expressions, and phrasal verbs you'd like to learn, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.